like this video, and subscribe right now, or you will have a bad day tomorrow. Now you yeah, talk about me, say it to my one. What I mean, talk about me, say it to my one. Say it, say it. Talk about me. Say it to my face, get out of my face Be with the first place, they still think it's a race No, hit the road if you can keep on in the pace Man, turn that shit up, turn up the bass, 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 bass Welcome, welcome, welcome What's up YouTube, it's your boy I'm in your window it, we In your window, but if you with it When it's finished in the end, you win. Yo, man, let's go. I'm back at it. Bad, bad habit with another video for you guys. Um, first of all, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's doing okay. Cause I just got a notification on my phone apparently. But I had a I had an interesting idea because I just got off of work. Most people working customer service typically have the same kind of responses. I feel like most people are somewhat divided into two groups. It may be more, I mean, there's, there's various groups of um, people who work in customer service, but most employees, I should say, are divided in like two groups. The first group being like there's um, the nice employee the one that's kind of like feel like he's doing pretty much everything and stuff like that he's nice to the customer stuff like that and then you got the other employees that's kind of just doing whatever like they they work hard like you, you have your hard workers and your non-hard workers some people are nice some people are mean you know it's kind of like is opposites attract when it comes to customer service so i wanted to take a look at short videos i guess it would be considered skits where pretty much it kind of like it's showing it's different things talking about customer service or just jobs in general the first video i'm gonna track out is from long beach griffey and this is called go backs just like looking at i was like oh you know what perfect example because i work in customer service so let's just dive right in and go for it so scan this real quick 4.99. Oh no, I'm gonna put these back. Excuse me, sir. You forgot something. Oh no, I'm not buying that. Okay, well then put it back. That's not my job. Well, I'm making it your motherfucking job. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that yelling came out of nowhere. I remember sending this video to um someone I know, uh, someone I know, and uh, it was interesting because I was like. They could relate because they, at the time, worked in customer service as well. Just trying, to, and then I sent it to my girl, trying to see if she make like she, maybe she will laugh at it. But I think she wasn't feeling up to it that day. I think she was having a bad. I can't remember what was going on, but I was trying to make her laugh, and that she didn't want to watch it because she just was having a bad day. So I was like, okay, this it is what it is. But yeah, yeah. Oh, same shit I say every time y'all put something somewhere, it don't motherfucking belong. First of all, I just want to say his acting skills are amazing, and having previously watched this a long time ago, I want to say, I want to let you guys know right now, Long Beach Griffey, the person who's yelling right now in this skit, is how I be feeling sometimes when they put stuff in the wrong spot, or they put stuff in random spots when they don't want it. They don't hand us the items when they be like, oh, um, bacon? Actually, I have too many bacon. I don't want our stuff. Like, I've been trying to catch them and stuff. And they'll sit there and they'll look and they'll have the item. And they'll be like, oh, uh, I don't want this. Whoop. Toss. Oh, well. And instead of like, like, ma'am, is that your item? Yes, I don't want it. Um, Ma'am, if you don't want the item, you can hand that to me, okay? Just just hand me the item out to make sure I can put it back. Especially if I catch them, I'd be like, Ma'am, if you don't want that item, please hand that to me so I can put it back. Please don't put that over to the side where the battery is. We don't need bacon sitting over um, underneath where the bags are and no one sees it. Like, I'd be finding stuff just in the most random spots. And I'm just like, bro, what, are you guys okay? Are you, are you saving the bacon for later? Are you saving that roasted chicken for later? Is that why you took some milk 
and put it in the freezer. Why is it a milk carton sitting over beside the bread? Are you about to make a toast with sandwich PB and J? Like, I digress. Put something somewhere and don't motherfucking belong. Go put it where it go. I just finished my transaction. I'm not about to go all the way to the back of the store to put back some frosted flakes. Well, don't get shit. You're not about to buy. <laughs> and then the cereal just fell all over him. Let's go. I didn't want it anymore. I changed my mind. Well, have your mind made up before you come up in this bitch. Facts. I'm tired of you go back making motherfuckers putting shit wherever y'all feel like it. Vegetables and home appliances. Clothes. <laughs> Clothes in the makeup department. Y yesterday, I found a vacuum in the freezer. <laughs> no, it sounds crazy, but customers will dead ass put shit in the most random spots. You just be like, "What? Why? Why is this?" It it's a joke, but it legit happens. I work at a grocery store. They do this on purpose. It is, it, they do this, it's, it, it irks my soul when they do this, man. Stop. If you're a customer, please just hand us the item if you don't want it. That is the simplest thing ever. We're not asking you to do too much. We're not saying, like, put it back if you don't want, like, you don't, you don't, you don't have to do all that. And most, some customers will say, you want me to put it back? No. You're fine. You're fine. Hand me the item. I got it. I will try my best to make sure it goes back versus whatever you're going to do because if you go put it back it may not even go back it may go somewhere else on a in the wrong area on a different shelf you i don't know where this go whoops oh well no we don't need that because that's how items go bad and stuff and we try to make sure we do recovery as quickly as possible so the items can go back on the shelf immediately or go back to where it belongs especially code items so nothing happens to it and it doesn't go bad after a certain amount of time we can't sell that product so you can't just sit there and do random stuff like that. Like, come on, man. And stop throwing everything in the freezer. Like, they put everything in the freezer or the um, spot box, which is almost as cold as the freezer, and the stuff be freezing up. It's like, no, this is... Stop putting stuff there. Jeez. How? I found a vacuum in the freezer! How? I'm tired! Look, man, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, okay? Like, I didn't mean to. <clears throat> Look, I'm sorry. All right? Look, man, look. Don't be sorry, man. Just put your shit back on the shelf! Put it back! Preach. Put it back! Preach. <laughs> <laughs> are you looking to make music and podcasts and, and speaking of podcasts too i want to say that i have been getting back in the mode of doing podcasts and stuff i literally did i literally was on a podcast the other day but um it was some technical difficulties it wouldn't let me save the audio from like when i was on for some reason and I'm not sure why exactly. All I know is everything was good. It was a topic talking about some when is it okay to say I love you. Perfect response. Like everything was pretty much good. And then this random dude came on and was just like extremely aggressive. But I think we kind of sidetracked and was talking about COVID. It was something we was talking about for a second that I think it was just kind of just random. But then some guy, I guess he heard us and kind of went on there and was just like yelling and screaming at people. I was like, okay. He was just extremely passionate, but it was like the way he was talking to people was just like, that's not how you talk to people to get your point across. No one's going to respect that. You're not even letting people talk or breathe or think or anything like that. So this is by Daryl. Daryl Mays. How the cool manager switches up when the big boss is there. Hey Josh, you busy, bro? D, what's good, bro? Come on <clears throat> in. Hey, bro. So I was wondering, right? Like, so I know I'd be late, like ninety percent of the time. But like, I was wondering, like, I was gonna ask if I could get a raise, right? Cause my baby mama, you know what I'm saying? She tripping. You feel me? So I gotta. You feel me? So hell yeah, bro. You know I got you. How long you been here? I mean, I've been here a while. Probably like two months. I right, bet. How much you make? 
I made like 975. I was gonna see if I can get to like 1150. Man, hell yeah, bro. I can probably I can get you more than that. I can probably get you like goddamn 13. What? But it's funny how he started off because he was like, I know I'd be late like 90% of the time. Um, and this is interesting because it's like, I mean, technically speaking, managers aren't going to do this per se. But you do find yourself in a position where it's like you have, it seemed like, like the store manager or maybe like the shift manager. Like, it's a certain level of managers that like you, you, you find one that's actually not too bad. But then their boss is like either mean or they're just they just change up when the big boss comes in and the store manager i feel like does stuff like this where it's like hmm oh your boss is here oh, okay so now you're acting different okay okay i just just make it sure just make it sure are, are you the same person is it is, is, okay are you sure you have an identity crisis right now because the big manager is here okay i'll just make it sure hey john <clears> you got a minute <clears throat> You get your ass out of my office! What the hell wrong with you? You heard what I said? <clears throat> Off your ass and back to work! Wait a minute, I... Dang, man, why he wilding out here? You heard what I said? <laughs> Off your ass and back to work. I thought we were <clears throat> friends. What the hell? The audacity <clears throat> of this fool. <clears throat> Ask you for a raise. How about you raise your damn attendance? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sir, I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. <clears throat> what can I do for you? This is going to be the same person. It's gonna be if you were honest in your interview. This is talking about being honest in your interview. So, how about you tell me a little bit about yourself, sir? Well, sir, I can assure you I'm a hard worker, I'm a team player, and I don't believe in excuses. I mean, really, bro, I just be chilling. Like, I be on Netflix playing the game. I swear to God, bro, you can't see me in Call of Duty, bro. I sweep you. <laughs> Yo ass, bro. Why do you. I just be chilling like I be on Netflix playing the game. I swear to God, bro, you can't see me in Call of Duty, bro. I sweep your ass, bro. <laughs> Why people be, they be talking like that? You can't see me in Call of Duty. Okay. <laughs> that used to be like the, the main thing people would be like, yeah, yeah, I, I, <laughs> you can't see me in Call of Duty though, man. 1v1 me, bro. 1v1 me, bro. Like, come on now. Now the kids nowadays, I don't, well, um, I guess I'm not hip, but maybe it's Fortnite now. 1v1 me on Fortnite, I guess. Come on now. It's not the same no more. But I, I can't admit Call of Duty is not the same as it used to be either. So I, I guess people will kind of gravitate to a new playing field, so to speak. So. Why do you want to work for this company? It's always been my dream to work for this company. <laughs> hey, <I'll go. laughs> it's always been my dream to work for this company. Who the fuck would say that? I mean, sometimes, but you got to admit, like when you're in an interview, you do be saying some wild stuff, hoping that you get the, uh, the, uh, the opportunity to get hired especially certain things you say might be like it like oh you know what i liked him i'm gonna hire him i don't know it just it depends on who you, who your interview person is and a lot of times depending where you're applying to like retail fast food grocery store most of those places need people so typically speaking if you kind of do a little something that stands out they hire you most of the time if they're really really looking for people they're damn near hire anybody that's why if you ever worked at fast food retail stuff you'd be wondering like how the hell uh, all these other people got hired with you or who the how these people even got hired in the first place that you're working with it's because sometimes they just need people they just be like oh you need a job you're hired <laughs> that's pretty much the qualifications to work at some of these places is that you need a job and that they're hired like you probably say like one or two things or you maybe you got some experience somewhere else but I swear, man. I I don't know if you guys have ever worked in like one of those places, and been looking at your other employees like I work, like I, I'm working harder than them. How did they get in this job in the first place? And they act, or like if you hear them complaining, like you're like, why did they even work in the first place? Like how did they even get in here? That's that's what's crazy. <laughs> Hell, cause ain't nobody else hiring. <laughs> and <company. laughs> Hell, cause ain't nobody else hiring. <laughs> and why? Cause ain't nobody else hiring. No, that'd be facts sometimes. Like you be, look, uh, you be applying to like twenty different jobs and don't be getting hired. So they be like, or this be the job that be like, um, we're hiring. Like you see the hiring sign and the thing, or you hear about the the hiring, and like, it don't be too many other jobs that's hiring at that same time. So that's what's funny, because that'd be true. That'd really be true. Why do you want this job? Well, sir, I believe that my attitude and my skill set will bring more customers to the company. I don't want the damn job. I need the money. The rent is due and they about to put me on my ass. 
<laughs> no, that, that's true too, man. Some jobs, bro. Like, I mean, I take pride in my job, but I feel like most of us were built different. Most of us were not made to be working a nine to five job. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to start doing YouTube and trying to take my career at least to a different um, perspective and a different um, area. I'm not trying to just nine to five for the rest of my life, you know. I think most people never plan that and are hoping not to still be in retail after a certain amount of time. So you really just need the money, or especially when rent is due. What else can you bring to this company? A great attitude and I can guarantee you an increase in sales. What am I... <laughs> My presence is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what can your company bring to me? Nigga, what can your company bring to me? Presence is enough. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> Nigga, my presence is enough. <laughs> Nigga, what can your company bring to me? Tell no, that. <laughs> no, I did as after, after like holding a job on your back. You, you like, I start to understand. Like, I've, most of these like retail fast food jobs and stuff, I'd be like, bro. What can you? What can I do for the company, bro? Who who are you talking to right now? What what can I do for the company, like, bro? Like, come on now. I so <laughs> chill, 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 chill. But what can I do for the company, you, bro? You only one know. You only one know what I can do for the company. Now I'm sad. Now I only one know what I can do for that company, man. Like, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But you already know. Tell me about a time you had a problem at work and how you solved it. Well, I remember one time this lady brought back a faulty toaster. And not only did I get her a new toaster, but I also got her $10 off her next purchase. Well, I remember this one time at Walmart I had to slap this new come. But I also got her $10 off her next purchase. She had a faulty toaster. He got her a new toaster and $10 off her next purchase. I mean, if that was the policy, I guess. Well, I remember this one time at Walmart, I had to slap this nigga because my check was late. Well, do you have any questions for me? No, sir, I think we're good to go. When the hell do I get my money? Yeah, let's mute this because they be trying to unpause and all that. Okay. Any questions for me? When do I get my money? Yeah, that's that. It'd be like, like how much I get paid or something. Because a lot of times, some of these jobs were not you. You typically won't even know how much you're getting paid when you go for these interviews um, until like a certain point when you ask. But I really feel like, I mean, sure, like you, you do ask typically to kind of keep your options open. But most of these jobs, like when you go for the, when you, when you go into the interviews and stuff like that, especially um, doing the application and stuff like that. You typically don't know how much you're getting paid. Like sometimes on the thing, it doesn't tell you. Now, I will say some of the stuff is on Indeed, so it does give you like an estimate or guess, but that still doesn't like round. Like if it says between 10 to $15, I want to know, am I getting $15 exactly? And then when you go there and you be like, well, you stay going to start you off at 10. Eventually you make up 15, like no, or maybe like the position that you're doing so like if you're just a cashier it's 10 or if you're a certain age it might be 12 or it's 15 for managers or like it it's certain aspects that i feel like it's not in the fine print like they i think they don't put like enough detail in on purpose or maybe like based on experience and stuff but i feel like they do that on purpose so that way when you do apply you don't be like i don't know because they'll be paying 9.99 what is that what is that but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. We're on the road to 200 with 196 subs, man. I'm going to take a quick shout out to... I want to thank Christopher Golf for commenting on my last video. Much love, much respect, man. I appreciate you. I want to thank... Spunky Boys for commenting um, on one of my last videos. I want to thank my new subscriber, Like Mike Lizzie. Appreciate you for subscribing to the channel, Confic Corner. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate you, man. Much love, much respect. It is a journey, man. Um, I just want to thank everybody for rocking with me. We're so close for just four subs away from the 200 goal so 
if you guys haven't already go ahead and comment down below what kind of video you guys want to see next hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i put new videos out we're doing new videos every single week let me know what you guys liked or didn't like about the video i respond to every single comment i have a discord and have a youtube phone number be part of the discord i'm trying to get more people onto the discord so that way it could be popping and stuff like that. I'm going to definitely be promoting more videos and stuff like that on all of my socials as well. Um, but be part of the Discord so we can get something going on there. That And then when I get more equipment and stuff, I'm going to start going live. It's going to be stuff posted in the Discord and everything like that. People can interact with me. Stuff like that. YouTube phone number. It definitely write it down in case you guys want to hit me up. Message me at any point. That way... You got questions, I can respond to you. You got video requests. Um, nine times out of ten, you sh shoot something in my uh, comment section. Hit the YouTube phone number. And I definitely, when I get that message, I definitely reply back as much as I can. People need to understand the direct line of communication is very important with, you, with my fans. So, I appreciate you guys. I love you. Stay blessed. No stress. And let God take care of the rest. I'll see you guys in the next. And you window out. Peace. Great job, sir. This is how you, you can subscribe and follow him, support him on YouTube. Eli underscore in your window. It's right there. Spelled just like that. Screenshot it. Rewind. Whatever you got to do. Yes. Support this brother. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. It is appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and turn post notifications on all so you can be notified when I put new videos out. As always, drop a comment which you like or didn't like about the video. It doesn't matter to me. I respond to every single comment. We're on the road to 200 subs with 131. I am dropping new videos every single week. So let's go team in you window. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Hey man, take a fucking hike. In your window. Man, just okay, take wait. a fucking fucking this, hike, 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 hey, hike, hike. Tell these people take a hike, but I'm not talking about hiking. Hikey, you can get lost when you're hiking. No map, follow the stars, that's who I be. No key, I'm a god like doors, brother. I'm the highest of the hikings. When my girl see me, she always gonna be greeting me instead of calling me bitch. She like hiking.